You know, I really like tea. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a tutorial on how to install Open Fortress, the Team Fortress 2 mod. So I'm making a video about me playing the game because I want to try this mod out for the first time and I realized that the install process for this is a little bit complicated. And I thought, hey, you should make a tutorial video so that you can show everybody else how to install it, just in case they don't understand the instructions or they're confused or whatever. You know, some people prefer to learn from videos, so that's exactly what I'm going to do today. And for those of you who watch me who aren't familiar with this mod, now you know how to download it and try it. So, going to get into that today. So, first order of business is, uh, you have to have Team Fortress 2 installed. No duh. If you watch me, you probably already have it installed anyway. Second thing you need that you probably won't have installed by default is you need to go up here So go to your steam library and go to home and right here. I have mine selected by games, right? You're also going to want to select tools right here And that's going to pop up some other stuff dedicated servers other clients, whatever and from this we're going to search for SDK 2013 or right, maybe not that uh, SDK. Oh here it is SDK base 2013 multiplayer source SDK base 2013 multiplayer. This is what we need to install now I don't even have this installed so I'm gonna go ahead and download it, it takes three gigabytes That'll probably take a little bit of time to download um, But what that basically does is allow us to install mods for Team Fortress 2 that use multiplayer and They will utilize that to actually work with the game and connect multiplayer services and all that other good stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this install. We'll be right back. When we get back, I'll show you how to install Open Fortress itself. Alrighty guys, so Source SDK has been downloaded. That actually did not take any time at all. Uh, just about a minute. Thank goodness for fast internet connection. So now I'm going to go ahead and pull up the webpage openfortress.fun. And of course, links for everything that you need will be down below in the description. So basically it says here, the game and website are still under construction, but you're welcome to try it out during development using the SVN repo via the installer. Basically it means you have to download this third party client that they are using to funnel their development builds through to allow for a multiplayer connection and basically allow people to connect to it. It's basically a roundabout, sort of complicated way of making their development build playable without actually creating their own client for it because they haven't quite gotten that far yet. It's a, there's a little bit more that goes into it, but that's a basic understandable explanation. All right, so it's gonna tell us to install Tortoise SVN, and there's gonna be a couple of different options for this. There's gonna be the 32-bit and the 64-bit versions of this, and for most people, you're gonna just use 64-bit version unless you're running a really old computer that only has a 32-bit processor. Um, but most people you're going to use 64-bit. Download the 1.13 version, not the 1.10 version, just because it's a newer version of the client. And, of course, you want to use the newer, better version. Okay, so it says download of Windows install package should begin shortly. In fact, here it is right here. I'm going to click keep. No time at all. Gonna open that up. All right, so here's the install wizard. I'm going to hit next. Next. This thing isn't going to be installed. That's fine. Next and install pop up and ask me for permission there you go all right the screen probably went black during that because you know Windows permissions am I right all right we're gonna go ahead and finish that all right guys there you go tortoise SVN is now installed okay guys so the next order of business is to locate our source mods folder now this is thankfully very easy to find what you want to do is you want to open up Windows Explorer right here and you want to go to whatever drive uh, Steam is installed on for most people it's going to be local disk C it is for me as well so I'm going to go to that and you want to go to program files x86 um, and then you want to go to Steam Steam apps and right here source mods so we're going to go ahead and right click in here and then we're going to collect SVN checkout and this option is on our menu since we installed Tortoise SVN. So we're going to go ahead and pull that up and here is the area where we can put in all our special information. Okay, so I'm just going to copy and paste a web address right here. It's basically a little IP address that tells S Tortoise SVN where to download Open Fortress from and install it in source mods. Now, I will have this listed down below in the description, so just copy and paste that in a Tortoise SVN, and right here in the checkout directory, see where it says C program files, blah blah, Steam app source mods, you're going to want to add a backslash here, it should be above the enter button on your keyboard, you want to type in Open Fortress. Actually check that, 
you want to make put a little underscore line right here between open and fortress and then that should be the name of the folder you want so we want to make sure checkout depth is set to fully recursive which it is we want to make sure head revision is checked which it is we're going to go ahead and click ok all right so it's kind of frozen there i think it's just kind of processing letting it make up its mind uh oh not responding Ooh, that's not good usually when something says it's not responding that means it's about to crash Okay guys, so the freezing for Tortoise SVN where it says checkout not responding is actually perfectly normal. It's just because SVN takes a while and so we're just going to not touch it because if we start clicking on it and poking around with it, it's going to crash. We're going to have to start all over. We're just going to leave this for a few minutes, let it do its thing and wait till it pops up and gives us a message. Okay guys, so after almost three minutes of waiting, uh, Tortoise SVN finally stopped the whole not responding thing, unfroze, and it popped us and gave us the certi certificate validation failed error. So, uh, so yeah, that means it finally went through. So if that's you've been having that problem and yours is freezing and you're clicking on it, it's not responding and eventually just crashes, quit clicking on it, leave it for a few minutes, go get a drink, go use the bathroom, come back, and it should be good. It just takes a while for it to kind of contact and go through. I don't know why, that's just SVN, but if you run into this issue like I did, you'll know, just leave it for a bit. So basically it's saying the certificate validation failed, that's normal. For this, it's just asking, saying something doesn't match up and asking you if you want to accept it. We want to hit accept the certificate permanently so we don't get this issue again. Now it's going to ask us for a username and a password. And for this, we just want to type in OFS for the username and we want to leave the password blank. We're going to go ahead and do that, and it will begin downloading and installing Open Fortress. Okay, guys, so after putting in the user authentication, it should basically look like it was just frozen again at that same old checkout screen. And then after a minute or so, this will pop up, and it will basically still have the little waiting signal for us. For me, it's the hourglass. Uh, for most people, it'll look a little bit differently because I'm using a Windows XP mod on Windows 10. But essentially... What it'll basically just say is to wait, and you'll get this, and it'll say action command, and it'll say the path, blah, 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 basically just telling you this the command you put in. It did make the open fortress folder in the source mods folder like we want it to, but it's still, if you go inside of it, it says this folder is empty. That's just because it's still downloading, which is why it's telling me to wait. So don't mess with any of this. Don't hit cancel. Okay is already blanked out or grayed out, whatever. Just wait. Give it some time. It'll only be about two gigs in size, the download, but it will take a long time because a bunch of people are trying to download this right now and the server's just a little bit overloaded. So again, go away. Give it some time. It'll probably take, I don't know, I've been waiting around for about five-ish minutes now and it'll probably still have a little bit of time left on it. So just give it a little bit of time. Go hang out with your friends. Go play a match of regular TF2 because that won't hurt the download. And uh, yeah, wait, and it should be good in a few minutes. Okay guys, so as you can see, after waiting for what felt like forever, but was probably about 10-ish minutes, finally it started putting in some other stuff. So now it's saying updating the folder, now it's saying adding stuff, there's materials, there's models, there's a bunch of folders. Right now it says 11.76 metabytes transferred, it's transferring at all over the place transfer speed so this is definitely going to take a while apparently it just now started there was 10 minutes between when we put in the command we put in the authentication and even began downloading the downloading itself looks like it's going to take a while and here's the thing i have great internet it's just a really slow download because of the server this is going to take forever i'm going to go eat dinner because my mother made something really great and we're going to come back and hopefully this will be done by that time Okay guys, so I finished eating dinner and the open fortress is about halfway down being downloaded. So while we're waiting, I would like to take a moment and talk about today's sponsor, who we all know and love, Raid Shadow Legends. Nah, just kidding. This video is sponsored by TF2 Chill Zone a TF2 Discord server for players just like you. Honestly guys, I've been so excited ever since the server reached out and wanted to sponsor me because this place is absolutely awesome. It's more of a community than a server really because it brings everybody from different backgrounds, interests, and beliefs together with the common interest of their love for TF2. You'll meet new people, make new friends, and have an overall really enjoyable experience. Heck, I've already made friends there and I've only been in there for like a day. If you want to connect with other awesome people in an awesome place that's built around TF2, click the link down in the description or the pinned comment below and join TF2 Chill Zone. You absolutely will not regret it. It would only take a few seconds and would really help me out, so why won't you join? 
click the link below and join right now. Okay guys, well it's late now and I'm talking quiet because my mom's asleep in bed, but I just wanted to say that it finally finished downloading in 48 minutes and 56 seconds. So it took its sweet time about it, but it should be done now. So we're gonna go ahead and hit okay and we're gonna go ahead and restart Steam, which we have to do. Let's go ahead and do that. There's the open fortress folder. You can see all the different files are in it. So let's go ahead and restart Steam now. So now we go in here and we type open fortress. And there you go guys, open fortress is now installed. And I'll boot it up and play it, which I am going to do and that's gonna be one of my next videos. So be sure and stay tuned for that. You can see my first impressions in the game, what I think, and I'm looking forward to playing it. A lot of people have told me this is a cool mod and I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. But yeah, that's how you install Open Fortress, guys. Really hope you all uh, found this tutorial useful. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure and leave a like if this helped you. That's all for now. Until next time, I've been your host, Kess Gaming, and I will see you all at the top. I'm about to end this man's whole career. Aside from my soul, I, 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 I,